Hi guys, Neil Waterhouse. In this video, I want to show you how to understand the Amazon fees, including FBA and FBM. And I also want to share with you a free tool which I use to automatically calculate Amazon fees. You can download that free tool now for free using the link below. It saves you a ton of time trying to manually calculate the different Amazon fees. Okay, so first of all, for the newbies watching this video, there are two ways that Amazon sellers can ship items to their customers. And these are called FBM and FBA. The first is FBM, which is it's an acronym for you know, Fulfillment by Merchant. Fulfillment by Merchant means that when an item sells, the seller, you know, i.e. you or me, boxes the item up and ships it to the customer. You know, and you can use either a courier or Australia Post to do that. The other strategy is FBA, which is an acronym for Fulfillment by Amazon. In other words, Amazon ships your item direct to your customer. But of course, with FBA, you, know, you do need to ship the item first to an Amazon warehouse so you know, they can warehouse the item and then ship it to your customer when it sells. In this video, I'll cover fees for both FBA and FBM. Okay, so the first fee to sell on Amazon Australia is the monthly professional selling plan fee. And this is $49 plus GST per month. So basically $50 plus GST per month. This is the fee all Amazon sellers in Australia pay to be able to list items on Amazon Australia. The next fee is the FBA storage fee. And this fee is charged monthly. For Amazon Australia, the monthly storage fee is $19.40 per cubic metre, or for round numbers, $20 per cubic metre per month. Now, this $19.40 or $20 per cubic metre per month applies for just January to September. For the busy period, which is October to December, Amazon charges more. They increase the monthly storage fee to $26.50, basically an extra $7 per month you know, for the October to December, you know, silly Christmas peak period. Now, these storage fees are only for FBA items where you or your suppliers have sent one or more to, or sent items to one or more of the warehouses around Australia. And it's a fee that Amazon charges for storing your products. Now, the next fee is called the Amazon Fulfillment Fee. And now, uh, you, you, some people will say that Amazon you know, Fulfillment Fee is expensive, but they do a lot for the money, and, th and this is what they do. So, so the Fulfillment Fee, it's what they charge you for its fulfillment services, which include picking and packing your orders, shipping and handling, customer service, and also looking after any product returns. Now, although this is fulfillment fee is a fixed price, the fixed price changes based on the size and weight of each product. In the link below, I've created a PDF which you can download for free, which shows you all the different prices for all the different sizes and weights, but you know, here's a few examples to give you an idea. The one-off fulfillment fee for a small envelope weighing up to 100 grams is $1.32. For a parcel weighing 0 to 1.5 kilograms, the fulfillment fee is $3.06 to $5.19. For a parcel weighing 12 kilograms, the fulfillment fee is $8.92. Now just like Australia Post and courier companies, Amazon will charge you on whatever is greater the weight of the item or the size of the item. In other words, if you've got a, you know, a huge box of feathers and it weighs next to nothing, Amazon will charge you for the size of the box, exactly like Australia Post and you know, courier companies. Now, yeah, before anyone sends me an email, yes, you can do a, um, do a deal with Australia Post and some courier companies and get it done just on the size of it, so you know, instead of it, so basically on a cubic base measurement, but Amazon does not do that. They just charge whatever is greater. Okay, so the next fee is called the referral fee. You now, if you're used to selling on eBay, the Amazon referral fee is pretty much the same thing as eBay's final value fee. Uh oh, we've got annoying roost apologies for that. And I, I tend to think of the referral fee as a final value fee because that's what it really is. It's really just a final value fee. And you know, just like eBay, Amazon sellers pay a referral fee on each item sold based on the total sales price. Now, like eBay, the total sales price is a total amount paid by the buyer, including shipping. And there's no minimum or maximum referral rate. The referral fee varies depending on which category you're selling in. And it varies from 6% 
for computers, or the computers category, all the way up to 15% for other categories. Again, without spending ages going through all the different categories and the various percentage rates, I've listed them all in the free download. The next fee is a one, a $1 closing fee. And this closing fee is only applicable if you sell, on, if you sell any kind of media, including, you know, that includes books, DVDs, software, computer, video games, video and video game consoles. If you, and if you sell any of this kind of media, then Amazon will charge you this $1 closing fee. And another fee to be thinking about is a 12-month long-term storage fee. Now, in America, it's, this is done every six months, but Australia currently is just 12 months, so we'll just see what happens over time. But the long-term storage fee only applies to any inventory that's been in one of the Amazon warehouses for more than 365 days. Now, this fee is assessed on the 15th of every month, and it's charged at a monthly rate of $160 per cubic metre, or a monthly minimum fee of $0.10 cents per unit, you know, whichever fee is greater. So it's very important to keep track of how long items have been in the warehouse and if it's getting close to the 365 days you might want to save yourself possibly a lot of money and get Amazon to return the product back to you or dispose of it. And Amazon will easily do that so they call it a hassle free return. And they can do either, they can, you know, they charge 65 cents to 75 cents to return it back to you per item depending on the size um, or they can dispose it for you for 15 to 20 cents. Anyway, so that's all of it this week. Please scroll down, leave me a comment below. Until next week, list more, sell more. This is Neil Waterhouse.